Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Skybees. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Last episode we did manage to get ourselves a basic ME system and I think this episode we should start fixing everything. I think first we should start by addressing the honeycomb situation because it's getting out of control. These 6 centrifuges that I have are garbage. We need a better one. Now that we have a better reactor from power, I've been trying to make these centrifuge casings because you actually have to make them inside an energizing orbs from power. A centrifuge is a 3x4x3 multi-block structure, so it has 36 blocks. The controller needs 4 blocks. And so far, we have 25. But then I saw the recipe for an elite centrifuge. You might notice it requires netherite. Since we have an apiary, getting netherite is not that difficult because we just need a netherite B, which we already have but we need one block of netherite so that the bee would function. And how do we get netherite? By crushing netherrack and then obviously sieving it. Oh, we got three. Nice. Four. Five. This could be finished sooner than I thought. I don't know how many stacks of crushed netherrack I had, but we have 69, which for some reason it's everyone's favorite number. We can make 17. But we just need one block. We are running out of space, but I think I can fit it here. This is why I think we need an extra apiary. I'm just saying. I was going to cheese the process of getting an extra apiary by getting a wither bee so that we will have access to unlimited number of nether stars. Sadly, the wither bee is a jerk and he requires a block of nether stars, which is nine. And for another tier one apiary, I just need one. So we won't do that. I made more 1k ME storage components. 24. Of course, we only have 5 housings, so maybe we should go for like a 16k? Ah, we don't have glowstone. That is the problem. It's okay, for the moment, we go with 3 more 4ks. During the time that I was waiting for our netherite bee to give us some netherite ingots, and I think we have enough, I was going through the JEI. And then I noticed we can end this series in like 4 episodes? <laughs> Cause this is the recipe of a creative vending upgrade. Granted, the storage upgrade itself is relatively expensive, but nothing is gated. And all of these have bees. It's not that we're going to do that, but I just wanted to let you know. Anyways, let's get back to the centrifuge. We have all the blocks that we need, and here is the controller. But we want to upgrade this to the elite version, and that is the one which requires netherite. So, we need one elite centrifuge casing, four netherite blocks. If we have some extra blaze powder over here, we need two eyes of the ender, and that's it. Here is the controller and we just need 35 elite casings. We can afford 30. Don't you worry because the only thing that we're missing is netherite and that is easy to get. That's enough, right? Yeah, and here is five more blocks. We should start removing the garbage ones and start making the multi-block structure. Remember that it's a three by three by four. And I think the controller goes over here. We just need one more layer. Yes, the multi-block structure is complete. The cable does not seem to be connected, but this guy is charging. This is weird, but in any case, we have more decent cables, so let us use them. Yeah, this is much better. So, how fast do you work? Wow, did you see that? So, I don't think we need the garbage ones anymore, we just throw them away. Since we can access this multi-block structure from any side, can we do this? And extract the items? We do a little bit more netherite. Yeah, it works. This is super fast. And if I remove the honey bottles, you will get honey inside, right? So I should be able to extract the honey using a pipe. Is it going out? Yes. And it goes inside the quantum tank, <laughs> which does not update for some reason. But the good thing about the multi-block centrifuge is that instead of putting honeycombs, we can put blocks. Because eventually the tier 4 apiary gives us blocks, and this is significantly faster. Yeah, it gives you 9 every time. <laughs> Look, 18. 27. So generally speaking, our B situation has been solved for the moment. But I still want one more apiary and we need to get prepared. In this mod pack, there is a mod called Upgraded Netherite. And depending on how you make your netherite ingot, you will get different buffs on your armor and weapons and tools. For example, if we upgrade our netherite ingot with gold, it will increase our looting level by 1, so if we have looting 3, we will have 4, but by default, it will give us looting 3. Obviously, the pickaxe is going to give us fortune 3, and the armor makes piglins become neutral. This is probably the first armor that we need to make, but there is one more which I'm very interested in. And that is called the Witherite armor. You make it with a Wither skeleton skull, and it makes you immune to Wither effects. And considering that I have to fight 9 Withers in order to get a block for a Wither bee, that's going to be very useful. But I think first we have to make a Netherite armor. Oh, that was a challenge. And then we can upgrade the Netherite armor in a smithing table. There you go. Golderite armor. I think I have everything that we're going to need in order to hunt some wither skeletons. 
we need some skulls. I'm sorry that it's going to be dark, unfortunately I do not have access to a spider in order to make night vision. That was not looting three, that was garbage. I only got one skull. So in total, we have three. And that's not going to be enough. We need to have the Wither Skeleton B. And that is a mutation of Netherrack and Soul Sand. He does not visit the hive that much. Or maybe I had too many bees inside and he kind of died. It's okay, last episode by accident, we made an extra one. We're going to use him together with sand in order to get Soul Sand, which there is a 100% chance. And if we mix him one more time, we should get the Wither Skeleton B. And the flower that this guy needs is called Witherproof Block. But we should also make sure that we don't have more than 9 bees. So I'm going to remove the coal guy, at least for the moment until we get a second apiary. Did you give us any honeycombs or no? Yes. In a centrifuge there is a 100% chance of getting a skull. That's crazy. And judging by how fast the apiary works, this is uh, kind of ridiculous. I'm not complaining because I can make my Witherite chest plate. And this should make me immune to Wither attacks. I hope. With the stupid amount of honeycombs and honey blocks that we have, I don't know, maybe we can make more apiaries. Cause I think I need 4 in total. But first things first, we need 1 block of nether stars. That is 9 withers. And if the armor actually works, killing them should not be an issue. Oh and by the way, I love this new version of Botania. Because you can use the alchemy catalyst in order to convert berries into apples. Which now that I'm incredibly rich, I'm going to convert it into iron apples. That will give me health boost and resistance. So let's go to the fortress again, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this jetpack is terrible. So am I resistant? Yes. I'm immune to wither. That is great. That place is kind of ruined. Maybe we should do it over here. Yeah, exactly. What can go wrong? Why did I make soul sand? There's a lot over here. Anyways, see you in hell. I'm sorry that it went like that. We have a loose wither in the nether. So I decided to do this the proper way. I made two obsidian bees and we have plenty of obsidian and we're going to use it. There is a wither proof block in this mod pack which is relatively expensive. It needs four obsidian, four scaffolding and one wither skeleton skull. Don't really know how much we can make but I'm hoping enough. 61 is not enough. Although we were missing the scaffolding, not obsidian. So can I make more? Yes. I also made a platform over here which is going to be the area of our apiaries because we need to start getting organized. And this is the bee wax that I need to trash. I have a feeling that we're not going to have enough blocks. Actually, maybe we have enough? I think? Yes. I'm not very happy with the idea that it's just a 3x3, three three, so maybe we go one block higher. I'm hoping he would not be able to escape. We will see. We should run, but maybe I should cover this area as well. Because I'm sure he is going to destroy the oak planks. He cannot escape. Very good. I should not have done that next to the bees. Yeah, he cannot escape. Good. I have to do this 9 times. Well, that was fun and slightly sad. On a positive note, I have my head. And on a very terrible note, yes, I should not have done this next to the apiary because one of our bees died. I heard it during the fight, so I locked the other ones inside. I locked them inside their jars, but I don't know which one died. But it's okay, we can figure out which one it was later on. For the moment, we want to get a wither bee. Oh, and by the way, I left a gravel bee and a sieve bee inside the apiary's breeder and I let them breed several times. I was looking for this one. Euronite. Because we are consuming a lot of fuel and I never paid attention to it. Anyways, the Wither Bee requires Soul Sand and the Wither Skeleton Bee. And I think this should be the recipe? Yes. Oh, and something fun. You might notice that I have extra hearts. Um, I noticed you can eat the honeycombs. Are you guys done? Any moment? Hopefully. Oh, and we should convert these guys into one block. And where is my Wither Bee? Oh, here you are. I'm going to remove the rest of the bees and we're just going to have the wither bee. He should give us 8 honeycombs and each honeycomb has a 50% chance of giving us a nether star. That's good. Oh and maybe I should take out these guys. He just left the hive, so the honeycombs should be ready. Yes. 
Wither Honeycomb. We should get a few Nether Stars, right? 5 out of 8. Perfect. If that is the case, we don't need you anymore. Obviously. And I need to start grinding for making more apiaries. It's not going to be a huge challenge because we have a ton of honeycombs. I was going to make three additional tier one apiaries and then I saw the recipes and I was like, we have the nether stars. All I have to grind for is basically grass. So these are four tier two apiaries. Unfortunately, at this very moment, I don't have access to enough blackstone, so I could only set two of the apiaries up, but those are all the bees that we need, 18 in total. I also added a few more bees, such as pigment bee, because it will give us glowstone and icy bee, because it will give us ice and that is useful for the reactors. For the floor, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Should I go with scorched grass? Should I go with vivid grass? There is also a golden grass. We are going to use grass from Botania anyways because passive mobs do not spawn on these. But we need to advance into the pack and in order to make my life easier, we need to get into mechanism. How far are we from mechanism? Well, we need the steel casing, which is basically a block of steel in a blood altar tier 2, and a blood altar itself requires starlight crafting altar. So we're not that far. Oh, and just to clarify, even the metallurgic infuser requires a steel casing. I know, they have cheated. When we started the mod pack, they gave us an astral tome. And if we start the chain, they will give us a Decidia collector crystal and a linking tool. Nice, that makes my job easy. Although, how would you get rock crystals? Can you craft the ore? Oh, yes. That is not a terrible recipe, and I think we get aquamarine from sieving sand. Yes. And I'm assuming there is a marble bee. Okay, our first piece of marble is going to be 8 diorite, 1 stone pebble, which we don't have. Please don't be just string. Oh, it's not, okay. We get a ton of garbage, as usual. So here is our first piece of marble. We need some honeycombs. I'll take these ones. And here is my marble bee. And you feed on any flower. We don't need a stupid amount of marble, so I'm just going to set him up over here. In the old apiary, which I'm no longer using. Be happy and make marble. So let us get back to astral sorcery. We need to start by making the luminous crafting table. And since that is the only recipe which is available, I'm guessing all we have to do is to put you over here and just link you? Yes, <laughs> that was fast. Uh, I can't break it. Can I break it with you? Yes. I have already prepared a very small area for astral sorcery and we're going to set up shop over here. Do we have marble? Yes, we eat one of them for extra hearts and we just process the rest. Oh, it's one per one. That's not good. I mean, it's fine, but uh, you know, it doesn't make any sense to get marble at the same rate that you get netherite. But who am I to judge? I did not design the mod pack. We also need to get some aquamarine by sifting sand. I don't think we need it in very large quantities, so maybe for the moment, we're not going to make the bee. Can I make an unbreakable wand? Yes, I know this is very stupid but it's fine. Okay, we just went from stupid to ridiculous because I forgot my hammer. Will I die? Probably. No, it's a very good thing that we have a jetpack. I personally think that I have never sieved sand. Yeah, because we get salt, aquamarine and cocoa beans. So let us get back to astral sorcery. In order to get the starlight crafting altar, we need a bucket of liquid starlight. And how do we get it? We need a light well. So I think our next order of business is to try and get a few rock crystals. Maybe a bit more. You are fortune 4. Will you give me more? Eh, 5. 5 is fine. We also need a resonating wand. Can we do it in a stone cutter? Yes. I think we're going to start with 4 light worlds. That should be enough. Oh, you need light? Aha. Uh -huh. That is not a problem. We have a collector crystal, which is very cheaty. But I'm very happy that we have it. And now we have enough starlight. The animations in 1.16 are really cool. So we can put rock crystals on top or we can put aquamarine. Aquamarine is cheaper and that will slowly give us starlight. So they gave us this. I think it's a garbage one, right? No, it's not that bad. 
So why don't we get enough starlight? Because you would assume this should be full. Do you have more marble? Yes. So quest wise, how are we doing? We are actually not doing that bad. We need one bucket of starlight. We can start crafting you? No. Yeah, we don't have enough starlight. And this is not working. But fear not, I have a plan. There is a very small structure that we can make like this and that should boost our starlight by a bit. It's not going to be a humongous change, but it should help just a bit. We just need a few lenses. I should not have made it this far from the base. Um, I need oak. Anyways, now that we have the lenses, we should be able to make you, which is a spectral relay. Oh, it's astral relay. Huh. They changed the name. Sadly, it is daytime and we have lost the opportunity. It's okay. We have some other things to do. One of the things that I want to do is that I have a lot of items in my inventory at all times. So we need a pouch. And since the recipe for this is relatively cheap, I'm going to go with a hand of the ender. There you go. One ender chest, one hand of the ender. And we also need to have a band of mana. Mana tablet and band of mana. We just fill it in a little bit. I think that should be enough. So this is basically a portable ender chest and I can put my additional tools inside. It helps with inventory management. It is night time again, so let us try our luck. Oh, and by the way, you need to have a lens on top. Oh, it's full. Nice. Therefore, we should be able to make our starlight crafting altar. Yes. Perfect. So this guy is going to require a multi-block structure and it's not that bad. I'll be back in a second. Although now that we are trying to make the altar itself, maybe I should also move this and put this in the center. Here is one more quest for the star metal. Just before I forget, we need a botanic pot for grass. And I'm assuming we can just do this? No. Oh, you need actual grass. Silk touch. Well, we do not have access to silk touch yet, but I can make a turf. It has a lower chance, but it's fine. How do you look? You look nice. This island which I'm going to expand on is going to be the site of our astral sorcery and botania. So I'm guessing for this one, we should go with vivid grass. One more thing, I hate the idea of having torches everywhere and unfortunately in this mod pack, light sources are limited. There is a lens that I can make from botania, but I think we can also make luminous powder, right? It's not expensive. It's not expensive if you have glowstone. Cool, we have some. These things only function during the night, when you have a little bit of starlight. Right now, it doesn't work. I need to wait for nighttime in order to get my luminous powder, but we can use this time productively. And by productively, I mean we can make some storage housings. For the ME system. I have been extracting honey from the centrifuge and we have 2000 buckets? That thing is fast. So, we do have a little bit of 4k storage cells, and that is very good. And we have 11 of the 1k's left. So we can make three more 4Ks. And I think that is a decent amount of storage. It's turning into nighttime. That is great. We shall have some light sources. I was under the impression that you can color code them. You can't. Oh, you can't. Weird. It is perfectly fine. I'm not complaining. They are better than torches. Yeah, I would say this is much better. Anyway, guys, by getting the starlight crafting altar, I think it's also a good time to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye-bye.